Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Michael's Supported Italia. I'm Michael, and today we're going to be making a uh, fresh cannolis uh, in preparation for Easter. We're going to decorate that up a little bit for you. And quite frankly, it's a very simple dish to make. As you see, I have some heavy whipping cream. I have 15 ounces of uh, drained ricotta cheese because you want to make sure the, the, the liquid is out. I have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, my own special little kick, about a, about a teaspoon of uh, amaretto. I have here a half a, roughly a half a cup of, uh, of uh, powdered sugar and about a third a cup of the mini uh, chocolate chips, the semi-sweet, mm, which I love. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the, the heavy cream, the whipping cream, and whip that up into a um, almost like a some sort of solid, which we're going to use that to incorporate for the cannoli cream to make sure it's nice and thick. So I'm going to push this other stuff off to the side um, because we're going to add the the amaretto and the cinnamon into the the ricotta mix. Uh, but for, for right now, what we're going to do is we have to get this thing going. So it's going to be a little bit noisy. So basically, we're going to whip this up. Until it starts to form uh, like a nice thick cream. So you can use a stand mixer for this as well. Um, I'll just uh, give myself more room. But um, as you can see, it's already starting to, to thicken up. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Side. And um, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So bring it in. Just mix it around here for you. As you can see, it's pretty thick. So, and that's what you're looking for. Okay. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to set it off to the side. Okay, and then in the ricotta cheese, it's about 15 ounces. Again, drain it out, make sure all the liquid is out of it. And I'm going to add half a cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to add one teaspoon of amaretto. Now, you can use uh, vanilla. A lot of times it calls for vanilla. I like to, uh, to change it up a little bit, give it a little bit of a kick. A little amaretto will make it nice. So we'll put that in there. And about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's really all you're gonna do. And you're just gonna take that and you're gonna mix it up carefully at first. You don't want the powder sugar to go all over the place. So um, just blend it in there a little bit, mash it down, and then then you'll mix it around. As some of the powder sugar is getting all over the place anyway, right? Um, but yeah, so basically this is this is where you know all the flavor is gonna come from, right? So Mix that around. If you can recognize the old wooden spoon, you know what those were used for, right? So, uh, but basically, yeah, you're just gonna blend this around until it's all blended together. Don't leave anything, um, if you see any powdered sugar um, clumped, just keep mixing it until it's gone. Because you want a nice, smooth consistency. You want all the flavors to be blended together. So it looks like it looks like we're pretty blended. And I think the best part about this, you do this. Um, to me personally, is mm, it already tastes like good almost. So 
that's the best part for me. So just scrape off the extra. You don't want to leave any behind. They all have to have love. Okay. Okay, so now once that's done, you're gonna take your heavy whipping cream that you already did, and you're gonna put that in. And you're gonna blend that out as well. stuff right here. That's nice and thick. That's what you want. Unfortunately, if it's too loose, um, you really can't fix that. I mean, People want to say they can put some flour in there, but at that point, you're just ruining it. So um, make sure that you get the, your heavy cream, your whipping cream, make sure you get it nice and thick. That alleviates, you know, it becoming too thin when you're mixing everything together. And then I'm going to take, hmm, so good. I'm going to take um, most of the chocolate chips and put it in there. I'm going to leave some on the side just in case I want to put some on the outside. You know, you can decorate that any way you want. Blend that all together. And you can see the chocolate chips inside there. It's great. So, you know, it's a, uh, it's actually pretty quick. It's pretty easy. Um, it's very inexpensive um, to make your own cannolis. I mean, if you go to a store and you buy them, you know, you see they're pretty expensive to, to, to purchase. But if you're making yourself, really the only thing you're doing is you're getting 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, make sure it's drained. Um, uh, some powdered sugar, some chocolate chips, a little vanilla, a little cinnamon, and the granola shells. You know, so I think, you know, if you want to put this out as a per cost per cannoli, you're lucky if it's going to cost you a dollar per. So, you know, it's, it's, it's excellent. All right, so let's pull the extra off. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to separate this into two separate bowls. And I'm going to mix a little food coloring in there, so I can give it a little bit of an Easter look. Okay? So. So I have two bowls here. And I'm going to just take a little bit, put it in here. It's great if you have some left over, right? It's instant dessert. So, put some in here. Now, I'm going to add uh, blue and red food coloring. I want to get it light. So, you know, just be careful. You don't want to. You don't want to put too much into it um, because then obviously it's going to be dark. So, you know, just try. You know, you do it by eye. You put one drop in. Maybe two, just to see what it's like. There's one, and there's two. And I'm just going to take a spoon and we're going to blend it in. And if you see it's too dark, don't worry about it. That's why you have some of the left over. So. is not quite as pink as my shirt, but we're gonna work with that, okay? So now we just take maybe just another little bit. It's a little bit too dark for me. Put it in there. And then blend in some more. See? So it's got a nice pink color to it. So obviously, you know, as you know, you're not changing the flavor of it. The only thing you're doing is just adding a little bit of food color. That's all you're really doing. So, um, and that's what it looks like. So you have one bowl there, and then I'm going to take 
a little bit of blue and I'm going to put that in and get a little pastel blue. So I'll put one drop in and we'll see where it takes me. Now you can try this, you know, for any holiday. If you want to use the, you know, Christmas colors around Christmas time, uh, 4th of July, you want to do red, white, and blue. You know, obviously the white being the actual cream by itself. Um, you know, so, you know, you can dress this up any way you want. So, and then, as you can see, it's like a nice little shade of pastel blue or you know, you want to put an extra extra drop in there, it'll be a little bit darker. You want to put some more cream in there to make it lighter, you can do that too. So, this is two colors, right? And then you take it and you put it in your, you can get the, the bags like this. You can use the, you know, if you have one already, you can do that too. Um, I have ones that I could reuse and wash out, but being that I'm using two colors, I figured we'll use the, uh, um, the, uh, the, the throwaway kind. So, so you put, you know, a teaspoon, two teaspoons, whatever you want. I'm just going to show you what one looks like. Push it in there. Okay. Then you do a little squeeze. Squeeze it down. Okay, just until you get it to the tip. You don't want to squeeze too much because then it's going to come out on you. Give it a little twist. Grab one of your cannoli shells, as you can see. And you just turn. Okay. And then we'll take our other bag and we're going to use the pink. And these are also very, very inexpensive. It already comes with the tips attached. You don't have to worry about screwing anything on. They're different sizes. You cuff it to what you want and for the design you're looking for. So now we're just going to take the pink. Throw some pink in there. Again, bring it down to the bottom. Don't squeeze too much because then it's going to wind up coming out. So you give it a little bit of a turn till you see it getting right to the edge of the tip. See, just like that. And you grab the other side and you work your way from the middle out. So turn. And there, is your Easter cannoli. And then if you want, you, know, you take the chips, put a couple on top, pat it down so it stays. And if you want to add a little powdered sugar, you can do that too. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is your cannolis. So, very, very easy to make. It doesn't take long to do. You know, you, you have your heavy whipping cream, half a cup. You have 15 ounces of fresh ricotta. You have about a third of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I added a one, te one teaspoon of, uh, of amaretto, which I love, and, um, and about a half a cup of powdered sugar. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna whip up your, your, your heavy whipping cream to get it nice and thick. You push it off to the side, you take your ricotta cheese, um, your, put all your mixtures together, you mix it all up, put your, um, your chips and then your heavy cream back into the ricotta mix. Mix it up till it's nice. And I just added some food color just to make it for a little festive for the holiday. So unfortunately, I know you all hate this part the most, but this is the part I love the best. So I'm gonna try this out. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let me tell you, this is absolutely amazing. I don't even care if I'm wearing any on my face right now. So, mm. so, ladies and gentlemen, that's really all there is to it. There's not much to it. It's just some basic ingredients.
takes you no time to make. As you can see here, it's a lot of fun to do. Do it with your kids. Um, and that's really it. And just dress it up for any holiday you want based on uh, some food coloring. So, you know, um, thank you so much for joining me on this edition, special edition, uh, Easter edition of Michael Support of Italia. Like the video, share it, and I'm going to leave you with this note, okay? So, leave the gun, grab the cannolis. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for this edition of Michael Support of Italia. Have a great evening.